guys welcome back to the channel I'm so glad you're here hanging out with us for another video today my name's Cora and in this video we're gonna be showing you how to do body work step by step making sure your projects turn out nice straight and on point so let's go ahead and head out to the garage and get started all right y'all step number one no matter what panel you're working on this is when I realized it recorded in slow motion but the first thing you want to do is just make sure the panel is really clean we just use glass cleaner to wipe ours down. I'm going to go ahead and clean it all up. That way we can get started on step number two. All right, y'all. Step number two is finding the low spots on your panel. So this door, as you can see, we've already found the low spots and there are quite a few. We didn't want to overwhelm you with all this, so we're going to go ahead and do an easier door panel today. The one that we're working on. But I'm going to show you how we got to this point. We're going to go ahead and block this entire panel with 80 grit sandpaper. And that should reveal to us all of the low spots that we need to fix. Whenever you're block sanding your panel, you want to make sure that you go diagonally. Both ways. Kind of cross hatch it. It's also really important to make sure that your sandpaper stays flat. What's up guys? We just got done block sanding the door panel. And all these little shiny spots are low spots. And I did want to let you guys know if you are working on like a really big dent or some, you know, just really big spots that are damaged, you want to go ahead and pop those out from the other side. Just make it as flat as you can before you do this step. But luckily there's nothing too crazy on this door. There, that spot right there, this area right here, this spot up here. Those are all the areas that you're gonna do first. <clears throat> yeah, those are the ones that will like first. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and wipe the bigger spots first, and then we're pretty much going to go over the entire panel. I'm going to show you what kind of Bondo we use. It's a high quality and it sands really well. Made by 3M. After you've identified your low spots, step number three is getting the Bondo spread on there. You want to make sure that the Bondo and the hardener get mixed up really well before you apply it. <clears throat> the Bondo is a really thick consistency. So when you're spreading it, you want to make sure you apply it firm pressure so you're pushing it 
I'm going to push it down in there. We went ahead and got the bigger spots covered in Bondo and he's just sanding it down with 80 grit. Yeah, he's like sanding it while it's... It. It's not completely, I mean, it's hard, hard enough to sand, but it's not, if you wipe it and then you wait like a day or two and come back and sand it, it'll be rock hard and it's a lot harder to sand, so. Okay. It has to be hard, but not completely hard. We got the second coat of Bondo on here. We're working on sanding it out. We're wanting it to have this feathered look on the edges. And whenever you guys are applying this Bondo, always try to remember that less is more. It turns out better whenever you just use thinner coats and spread it more evenly and press down. Could sense it. Yeah, so after you sand over everything, you want to make sure to blow the dust off of it. All right, this is how it looks after the second wipe down of Mondo. For most people, this would be ready to prime, but we're going to take it one step farther by guide coating it and going over everything with 150 grit sandpaper to make sure everything's really straight. I'm just showing you guys the kind of primer that we used on the door and we've been using this for the whole car. It's Tamco, it's really good quality. We highly recommend it. Which brings us to our last step, which is priming the panel. After you get everything sanded down with the 150 grit, well, guys, we got the door primed. As you can see, it looks pretty straight. I think it turned out really great. But we're going to put it to the test. Whenever you're doing body work, you usually want to do that process that we had just done a couple times. So we're going to go ahead and block sand the door again and see if we have any low spots that show up. So we're gonna go ahead and do that and I will show you whenever we get it done. Alrighty guys, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap the video up here. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. And I hope that this could help somebody kind of learn the basic steps of doing body work. Um, it's not really that easy and it takes a lot of practice and nobody likes doing it, but it is an important step on getting your project complete and looking great. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much. Please give me a thumbs up if you did and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already guys. I'll catch you in the next video.